are the Hebrew Israelites that come out every week to tell our people who are the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans through their father line that who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ and God are coming back to redeem the elect of those people. We're coming to condemn the, uh, this, this wicked society that America perpetuates and, and that the, the prophesy that America will be destroyed. Right. Thus says the Bible, and it deserves to be destroyed. We're going to start by giving all praise and glory to the Al Rashi Al Shai. Call all the Al Rashi Al Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. The greetings and salutations to the brothers that do this work with sincerity and in truth. Tell them all. All right, we're back out here on the Las Vegas Strip. And uh, a friend of mine called me and was telling me about a friend of ours that we grew up with. And basically, how this, how this friend went from living in a nice suburban home into, into just straight want to be a hood nigga, right? And so, so the question is that I pose today, why is, why is this hood mentality glorified today because because it doesn't benefit the actual hood niggas right it benefits those that control the hood niggas because if you want to be a hood nigga you got to be close-minded to want to uh, follow bullshit and vanity but when you become a man matter of fact let's start with that and you know um, we just gonna touch on it in the Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 because when you become a man you understand things on a, on a higher level of the world, and you know what's not vanity and what is vanity, and you don't follow after vanity. You don't allow your spirit to rule over you. No. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. The whole duty of man is to hear the whole conclusion of the matter. Of what matter? Of all matters. Hear the conclusion of all matters. Being a hood nigga, you ain't, you don't know the conclusion of the matter. All you know is the hood. But when you understand life on a higher level, that that society hides from you, from you poor people, when you live in the ghettos and you only got KFC and Church's Chicken and McDonald's to eat, but you go into these nice neighborhoods and you get, um, all types of nice gourmet restaurants and, and gourmet and not even fast food gourmet cafes and whatnot. You know, you know, whole food markets and grocery stores and stuff like that, organic and whatever else. You get all that type of stuff in their neighborhoods, but you don't get it in your neighborhoods because you ain't meant to see the whole picture. Because you might question to yourself, why in my neighborhood do I get all this bullshit? But in the good neighborhoods, or so-called good neighborhoods, they get the good food, the stuff that actually gives your body nutrients. But the problem with it is that a lot of a lot of Jake, a lot of Negro, Latino, and Native Americans don't even ask that question to themselves. They don't even question themselves because they have a slave and nigger mentality. Whether you're a Mexican slave, a black slave, or whatever you want to call it, a Negro slave, a, a Native slave, none of that matters. Yes, sir. Jeremiah, yeah. Jeremiah 2 and 14. It says, is Israel a servant? Wait, wait. We weren't meant to be servants, but it said, is Israel a servant? And the word Israel means a prince of the power, right? When you break it down, Yasharala in the Hebrew means a prince of the power. Is the prince of the power, is the son of the, the sons of the children of God slaves? Read it from the top again. Is Israel a servant? Is he a servant? Is he a home-born slave? Is he a home-born slave? Was he always meant to be a slave? The answer to that question is no. We were never meant to do servile work ever. It was for all the other nations outside of the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans to be our slaves. Right. They were created to be slaves. They're the ones that really walk around with a slave mentality. But they taught you and ingrained inside you that slave mentality. And the problem is, now you're willingly slaves. The Negro, Latino, and Native Americans today are, are willingly slaves. You want the chain back. 
Yeah, the heathens is a lot. The heathens have more of a, a ruling class mentality yeah. than you so-called Negroes and, and, and Hispanics, man. Yeah. You believe that you was you, you was basically born on earth to serve other people. You don't believe that you are that you are a, 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 a royal soul and that you belong on top. And these other people that look at you as bottom feeders, uh -huh. you don't look at them as uh, below you. That's right. You know, you look at it as the opposite, like the other nations are supposed to be above you. And you right. go with the flow of however society teaches you, you want to go with the flow and, and, and learn under them and, and, and serve them, man. Right. And they ain't nothing but the fucking heathens. And, and whatever they worship was, 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 was basically uh, created by man. Right. That should let you know that they nobody. They they low level people, man. You, you worship the creature more than the creator. The heavenly Father placed the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, which are His chosen people, Israel. He chose them to be above and better than all the other people on the earth. But instead, you want to go and worship what the heathens worship, whether it's idols or money or whatever. I got I got a scripture. This is uh, Leviticus 25 and. And 44, it says, Both thy bond men and thy bond maids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye, you buy bond men and bond maids. Now that's that's to our slaves. I have said, it's in the law that they're supposed to be our slaves. But you have to first get hear the whole conclusion and get that slave mentality off your mind to be able to understand how to rule your slave, how to even, to get in position to have a slave. And see, when you people hear the word slave, you think about, you think about this. This is what you think about. What actually happened to the Negroes? But this happened to the Hispanics and the Natives also. This happened to all of Israel, God's chosen people. This is what you think of. But there's a righteous way, that's because this wicked ass white man don't know how to rule nothing. He has a, he has a low class mentality. He has a no class mentality. But then gonna set the standard up with money to be about class. You don't even understand what class is about. Class is more about morals than anything else. Personal morals that we're taught through the statute, laws, and commandments of the Bible. That's right. That's right. But but the problem, the, I don't want you to keep reading. That. But the problem, or, or go back. But the problem of it is you don't ever think that you're above anybody. That you that you don't you don't have a ruling class mentality. You have a slave mentality. You have that homeborn slave mentality that was ingrained in you from them days. Oh, are you the Israelites? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. You, you probably I, are too. Huh? You probably are too. Yeah, I'm, uh, American Indian, the Israelites. Yep. Gad. Gad. Tribal Gad. So am I. Similar Indians. Okay. Yep. All right, I got some of that in me. Yeah, whatever your father's line goes back to. I was told what I want to yeah. Verse 45, moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn, sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begot in your land, and they shall be your possession. Right, they shall be your possession. Now, if you own something, say if I own a car, which is a possession, right? Am I gonna treat my car like shit? That's what the white man did to us. He treated us like shit. He ruled us in fear, which fear is a healthy, uh, is a healthy uh, something to have over somebody, healthy form of control. But at the same time, that don't mean you treat it like shit. Just because you can drive your car fast, don't mean you should always drive it fast. Yeah, so like, and this is the distinction. I'm gonna jump up because it's telling you in the law the difference between a hired servant, which is supposed to be of your, like if you have a, another right. fellow Israelite that was sojourning among you up in, that, up in our land at the time, and he he, 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 he lived, he had a, a, a low condition, he wasn't living right, like he, he, Let me give an example. he lived day by day, he, he, he didn't have that much wealth, Let me give he was kind of poor. It's a lot, let me give Go an example. Uh, uh, Jacob or Israel in Laban, yeah. he hired him as a servant, but he hired him, what was the wages for his daughters? Yeah. What, what you is, saying that? yeah, but come, we had a way of dealing with that back back in ancient society in our kingdom when uh -huh. uh, when, when Jake became a servant to another Jake, it was for hire. Right. But if you had an actual slave, then that was actually a heathen that you had as a servant. Right. A, a bond servant. Right. right. So there was a, there was a difference between the two. So let me jump up just to just to clarify that. Uh -huh. 
Je uh, Leviticus 25, and I'm going to start at verse 39. And if thy brother that dwell, that dwelleth by thee be waxen poor and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. That's right. But as an hired servant and as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee until the year of Jubilee. You give him, you give him a job, basically. And not just a low level field worker job, you give him a good job. You know what I'm saying? You give him a good job and you give him privilege. That's how you move with your brother or your friend or your neighbor, those fellow Israelites that are like you. Now, if it's the other nations, it's gonna be something different. You're gonna rule them a little bit differently. You're not, they're not gonna to get to, to hold dinner with you and all that other type of stuff. They're gonna have their own means to eat, but you're gonna, but you know, you ain't gonna just starve them out, but, but it's gonna be different. They're not gonna be like family. They're not gonna sleep and live up in the big house with you. And this, and, and, and the law, and you can see it in the law because the reason why the Most High commanded that was because going back to, to the time of um, the tribes, you know, you had um, the, the, the tribes get together and sell Joseph to the heathen, you know? We, 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 we sold our own brother into slavery and to the heathens, man. And, our, and, and they was going off. But at the same time, it was still the will of the Heavenly Father because the, the Lord is gonna raise us up and show his power in uh, in the land of Egypt amongst the Egyptians. You know? But but we're not supposed to be uh servants under the heathen. The heathen is supposed to be servants under us. Right. You know, and that's where we went off at. But now our people are conditioned to, to think that they're supposed to serve the heathen and, and, and the heathen. Uh, it's supposed to be above us, man. Right. That's, that's and that's the, the reason why these heathens look down upon you jakes. And that's the reason why that ruling class mentality been left you, man. Yep. You, you niggas been, indoctr so oh, yeah, yeah, been indoctrinated yeah. under all these different uh, orders set up by the white man, like the Willie Lynch. Yep. That was one of them. You know? They just showed you how to... Uh, uh, Destroy the, the, the family structure of the household. Put giving more power to the woman over the man. The, the white man had had blueprints to take you down. A and masterful it, blueprint. It was a master plan, man. And it and it worked very well. It was it was genius of them to put those those plans together against you Negroes because in the end that shit worked like like fucking Meltron, man. Yeah. That shit fucking worked, man. It's still working today. To this very day, it's still it's still in execution. Yep. You're fulfilling that 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 the, the plan that the so-called white man had for you from way back. For you niggas to be homeborn slaves, man. That's right. And now wake up out of that nigga mentality that you are all engulfed in. Yeah. All you believe in being is a straight up nigga, man. That's right. To the fact to, to the fact that well, some of you grow up without the nigga mentality. Like like the like like the dude we grew up with, right? That that don't grow up with the nigga mentality, but adopts it and thinks it's cool, and then begins to perpetuate it. Yep. How you how you live in the suburbs your whole life? You know what I'm saying? With two parents and, a, and dinner time at six every day, and all you live with a good structured home, but then you want to go and be a hood nigga. You want to go and, and live that uh live that mentality in the streets of, of the people that don't have. Instead of trying to make it better for at least a few or to perpetuate a better life to help people, you want to go back down and act like that nigga way is better. How you going to jail after coming from something like that when you've been taught right? By doing dumb shit, not like you was trying to do something and shit went wrong. You went on purpose because you knew what you tried to do was not going to work. It was just an idiot, stupid move, something a hood nigga that has no way out would do when his back's against the wall. But when you got options, you don't make decisions like that. And when you got the, the when I mean options to, to go further with it, when you got real uh, understanding and wisdom of this world through the, heavenly, through the Heavenly Father's Spirit, you don't make moves like that. You make them in, in righteousness, and He will protect you in righteousness for doing righteousness. Yeah, He may afflict you here and there for certain reasons of certain spiritual growth processes, but, but it's meant always to, to, to be a, a righteous and a positive thing as the outcome. 
you go and buy the, you, you know, because you get an allowance or whatever, grown ass man with an allowance or whatever the fuck you get, or your mom hit you up with the credit card or whatever, just to touch on it real quick, get on the credit card or whatever, and you go buy a brick of weed to, to slang in the hood, you know what I'm saying, just to be in the hood smoking weed and kicking it with the homies, when you don't, why don't you take that same money, go buy you some nice clothes and get a job? Or find a legal hustle that ain't gonna land you in the, in the fucking can. That's because Jake is ass backwards, man. That's yep. why the most I say they are drawn back. Yep. They, they, they converse, man. So to a, to a nigga, anything negative is, 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 is positive. positive influence. Oh, any, any nigga shit is positive influence with Jake, man. Well, and that's why they remain niggas. Turn it upside down. In terms of upside, no, that's a, 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 a proverb. I'm talking about. Is it? No, 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 Isaiah, it's a lot. Isaiah, Isaiah. I, say, I thought it was Isaiah. Isaiah. Oh, you keep slack, I don't mean to cut you off, buddy. No, you know, it's, they, they, they're drawn back, meaning, meaning they're ass backwards. That's what it means to be perverse, yeah. you know? We, we're not supposed to go backwards, man. You ain't supposed to go back. Right. Especially if you know the way of righteousness. You, you, you know you, you're not supposed to turn back and go back to being a nigga, man. That's, that's, that's straight up wickedness. Now when you when you graduated high school and you had a, a nice family structure and you had a, 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 an educational structure set up for you, and the dude in particular that he was talking about, he didn't even went to the U.S. military, which they don't condone nigga shit in there. That's the first thing they, that's why they brainwash you off the top. So you don't bring that nigga mentality into their into they, uh, they military. Because they don't want a nigga making decisions because a nigga ain't meant to make decisions. They don't want a nigga making decisions with, with, with other people's lives. The, only the generals get to make those decisions. But they're the most uh, uh, brainwashed because they have an agenda of the overall goal. Niggas just do it what's good for the moment because they're full of vanity. I, I, I look, but I'm not, I'm not going to search on Facebook. It's in Isaiah. Isaiah, uh, 20, was it 29? No, not 29. I got it. Twenty nine. 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 Twenty Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Yeah, now see, when things are turned upside down, like it is in the world today, people take evil for good and good for evil. You look at us like we're doing something evil by trying to call you out on your bullshit like we're supposed to, by, the, by, by upholding this nigga mentality. You know how to get rid of this nigga mentality. That's part of, that's part of you still being attached to that spiritual change. Yeah, they took you off the physical chain of iron, but they kept the even stronger uh, uh, spiritual chain on them. And that's why they took you off the chain, because they know you're not going to run past the edge of the yard. That's, and, and running past the edge of the yard for y'all is, is gaining knowledge and wisdom and understanding out of this Bible. And that's why you were killed for it back in the day, for knowing how to read this Bible. So, so the point being, that's the only way you're going to get out of that nigga mentality. Because all of you that's out here, whether you in the hood or in the ghetto mentality or not, you still thinking money is something. That's part of the, 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 the ghetto nigga mentality. And it's not, like I'm saying, it's not just about blacks being niggas, you know, or so-called Negroes being niggas. It's a, it's, a, it's a Hispanic speaking mentality, nigga mentality. It's a native nigga mentality, a native Indian mentality. You gotta break out of that. That's not of the most well, high God. Right. Okay, then we're gonna go to um, Ephesians. Go, go what you got. Jeremiah 5, and I'm gonna start at 21. 
hear now this, oh foolish people, uh -huh. and without he calls, it's like, he calls you foolish because y'all a bunch of niggas. That's why he calls you foolish. Because you have every every way and every every sign of evidence that you're greater people, but you don't want to be greater. You want to be a homeborn slave. You want to be a homeborn servant. You want to keep that nigga slave mentality. You want to chase empty ass money. You want to chase vanity, gold chains and shit like that. The fucking Dayton's and 29 inch rims and shit like that. Shit that don't mean nothing in the world. Shit that can't, that can't save, give you salvation. God says, hear now, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which uh -huh. have ears and hear not. Yep. You don't see or hear the basics of the earth. The basics of being a human being, let alone being an Israelite. You don't understand those things. Like, um, I need nutrients to be healthy. So like, I need to be able to think through things before I just do shit. To think, to move up and to progress in life, then to just do whatever it takes to, to, to stay in the same position. How can I achieve, this is what the nigga mentality has become. How can I achieve something without doing nothing? How can I do the same thing I've been doing my whole life? Wait, 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 my dad told me this recently about somebody. He said, the, um, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting something different to happen. That's insanity, and that's part of the nigga mentality. You got something to say about it? Hey, like niggas uh, thinking that selling dope right. is ever going to change. Like, right. come on, man. You see the pattern since it existed. Right. You niggas sell rocks, you take your ass and get locked up in a cage, you gonna yep. come out. Your family start deteriorating. Hey, let, let's go back a little further. I watched this movie Blue Hill Avenue. You ever seen that movie? That sounds familiar. Yeah, Blue Hill Avenue. It was like Boston or somewhere like that. And it's uh, young, young little niggas or whatever in the hood. They want the way to come up. I barely remember the movie. It was a long time ago. They want the way to come up. So they out there. You know what I'm saying? They got a few rocks. They got put in the hood. This is what happens. You get the, they give you the, they give you the drugs to pollute your neighborhood. But once the, you pollute your neighborhood, you didn't reach a certain level. Once you try to go above that level into a, a new level, that's when they chop you down. And, and the, the level that you're trying to achieve to get out of the hood, once you get to, to, to want to cross over from, from stealing the hood to getting out, that's when they lock your ass up. Because your hood, they, your agenda's done. What they needed you to do is done. They done got you to pollute the hood, and now they got you uh, locked up. Which means your, all your money that you did accumulate is now locked up in court fees. Based on, so back based, broke. based on the uh, definition of insanity, right. you, when you niggas go to, you keep you keep going back and forth from the pen back to the streets, yeah. you continue to, to, to try to get money illegally, you knowing that you ain't supposed to do that. You keep going back and forth thinking that every time when you come out, you think you're gonna get, get away with it every time. Right. You think it's gonna be a new, uh, 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 something new is gonna happen. Like you, you it's gonna be a out different outcome. Right, you figure every, something every time. out. Okay, I'm only gonna sell this much, and only this way. Then I'm gonna get out. And then I'm gonna use that. No, you that's, mean, that's insanity. Have, man. That's insanity. That will never get you out. Well, you know why? Because the people you need to back you are now zombies. You do better being a teacher or a coach or something. At least you, you're building up the community, which will uplift you in that in that time. But really, in this in this life now, ain't no way out. Ain't no way out of this life. You're gonna be in the same cycle until you come into this word and the Heavenly Father come back and destroy all the bullshit from around us. That's the only way out of this now, is if you are given the, uh, the, the eyes and the ears are opened by the Heavenly Father to, 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 see, to, uh, to obtain salvation. There's no other way out of this. But you people aren't even trying to add the, the common sense to, to, to the equation. You wanna do the same insane stupid stuff every damn day. Expecting something great to happen to you. Expecting to hit the lotto and then to pick all six numbers this week. It's, uh, verse 26. For among my people are found wicked yeah. men. They lie in wait as he that set snares. They set a trap. They and catch hey, men. And that's what a lot of niggas do, man. 
a lot of niggas, that's what you do. Whether you Mexican, black, or whatever, that's what you do. Hey, I got, I know, I know this way, so I'm gonna sit this, I'm gonna sit, set this trap for somebody else on the bottom like me. I'll take they little bit now, I'll double it up. You, you go that, you know, you got such a small fucking mind. If you really want to take over and really come up, you gonna have to jack somebody at the top. You gonna have to get somebody at the top. That's how you come up if you want to be in that worldly bullshit. But y'all, y'all think nickel and dime. Y'all never think the whole dollar. You never think about the whole. I'm talking to you, street niggas, man. You never think the whole dollar. You thinking about the nickel and dime. Fuck that nickel and dime. I don't need to take the nickel and dime from my brother that only has a nickel or a dime. I'm gonna take the whole dollar. That's that's what you should be aiming toward if you if you're trying to really make a difference. But you can't do that if you ain't on the right level. You can't do that with the small thinking. Of a, of a mind like a nigga. You can't do that. And you're never gonna be able to do it if you never hear the whole conclusion of the matter and if you don't uh, uh, follow the, the Heavenly Father's words. Because you're not a man and it takes a man some, to do something on that level. But some of these, hey, but as far as these street niggas, man, their mind is already sealed with that mentality. That's that's all they know, that's all they live for. That's all that's, the, that's, all that's gonna sit with that, man. The only, the only way a nigga is gonna lose that mentality is when the most side destroy his ass. Man. That's right. That's the only way a nigga is gonna get with, get rid of that mentality. When the Lord has to basically cleanse it. How many times have the Heavenly Father showed you that hey, I'm, I'm gonna let you get shot in the head and live to live a, to turn a new leaf. I'm gonna let your house get shot up. I'm gonna put you in a car accident. I'm gonna put you in all these life or death situations and let you live to wake your ass up out of this dumb ass mentality of the things that you've been doing and you still don't do. You come back and you revert right back to that dumb ass mentality. That shit even makes you happen. That shit even make you worse, man. Right. You you just saw a uh, death in his face and you turn Not around and you wanna be an even further nigga. And yep. then you glorify in that shit, man. Yep. You know? Like these like them rap niggas, them niggas always brag. About being shot and stabbed when they was in when they was in the, uh, in the streets and shit, nigga. Why you go glorifying getting damn near getting your head blown off, nigga? Hey, this is getting stabbed up and shit, nigga. What you proud to to to, to damn near die for, nigga? Hey, same thing with jail. Niggas is proud to go to jail now. What kind of fucking hood street criminal are you or a street person are you if you keep going to jail? Hey, nigga, I did 15 like it was. Man. Like it was nothing like it was two days. Man, you fucking stupid. The real criminals don't get caught. The real, the real masterminds that try to on the real level don't get caught. But you so so small-minded with it, you don't understand. You don't even understand the big picture. You don't gotta. It ain't about murdering somebody or killing somebody and then going to jail for it. I do a hundred years for a nigga. I don't give a fuck. That's the home. That's the hood. Fuck all that, man. It's about it's about not getting caught, and that's on a carnal ass level. On the real on the real level. The way we the way we murder you now, we chop your ass down and chop you up and dice you up with these scriptures, and the heavenly father gonna come execute it through the through the flesh, through, through the carnal uh, side of it. We chop your spirit for the heavenly father, because he's the one doing that also, then he'll come down and send his son down to do it. And, and when Lord willing, we get our opportunity to put our hands on you in that day as well. Because the men gonna get power to do it as well in that day. When the, when, when the Lord come back and give you the uh, the green light to go. It says, for among my people are found wicked men. And those wicked men are those same people that, that fuck up the society of people that's trying to do right and that make that perpetuate that wickedness that goes on in this, in this upside down the, world. Ice cold water, that make you think that that's the way to do things. And try to twist those the white people that's trying to do the right thing to twist those to want to, to, to do the wrong thing. Yeah. It I says, they lie in wait as he that set of snares. No, we, I heard the white built the pyramids with black brain power. No, now, a black we, guy we told me that. We built it all with us. Well, I, uh, we, a we, black we, guy we, from we, L.A. We told me this Christmas of 2010. He lied to me. He had my friends over. He said the whites built the pyramids with black brain power. No, so he, he said so the whites were more brutal to the whites than the whites were. He's up. He's up. not telling the truth. These people built the pyramids. We're not the Egyptians. Watch yourself. We're not the Egyptians, and and we were the slaves of the Egyptians, which are black, dark-skinned African people. We, we built it, so, so so they were more brutal to us. That's why we had to get out of there. But nobody's been as brutal as this white man's been to, to the Negro, Latino, and Native American in America. Oh yeah, I seen, I seen, I seen the emptiness in your eyes when the truth came out. Don't come back over here if you don't want to really listen. Go ahead.
That set of snares, they set a trap, they catch men. Uh -huh. And ain't, ain't that a saying among Jake in the drug world? Yeah. We in the, I'm in the, I'm in a trap. trap. I'm in a trap. You know, I gotta go to the trap house. Niggas with trap houses, man. Yeah. They in there cutting, cutting up that that that, that rock and coke and shit, man. Yeah. And that's a trap. Cause that traps you to where your body fiends yeah. for it. Yeah. That's a trap. Yeah. And that, that's what a that's what a wicked man will do. You can I'm not gonna condone that, but you can do that to the heathen. You can't do that to your brother. But who does that get done to? That's why this white man and Willie Lynch set that shit up so beautiful. He put the drugs in our neighborhood for us to do it to ourselves, so his hands could be dusted off. And then a lot of people like him saying that we we deserve it because we treated our we treated them worse than they treated us. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. Nobody's ever been through this shit. This is, a, all, this is a postcard of, of what's going on in the, in the South in those times. They sent this out. These were men that had this happen to them. These were Mexican men that this happened to. Where else? This, this was actual something that they iron collar that they would put on our people. So you couldn't run, you get caught up in the brush for running. This was real when you about to get your lashes like in Glory and in Django and whatever else. This was real shit. That was the, the final of what happened to that. And this shit has been beat in and out of you people. They, they hung our women like this. After they cut the baby out the stomach and fed it to the gators to pull it in so they can make alligator belts and boots and luggage. All of this stuff really happened to us. They really had, where's it at? They really had uh, uh, sales pitches advertising uh, slavery, selling the slaves. That really happened. And a lot of it is documented in the books that we don't read and, uh, and, and don't want to um, do the responsibility of going into and looking at it. And then you want to justify when you find out about it. That's a bunch of bullshit and that's that fucking slave nigga mentality. But we're here to break down that bullshit. You're going to have to sell out, bro. You're going to have to fucking wake up to, to get anywhere in this world. The hard shit that's really coming for you, it's on the way. 
This white man's about to destroy you fucking people. These fucking hoods that you want to glorify and live in, they about to shut your shit down. Throw you on concentration camps, on, on buses and, and trains. Why do you think train tracks always surround the hood? Because they can throw you right on there and ship you right into the uh, concentration camps. These FEMA camps. These salt camps where they gonna torture your ass and make you take that mark of the beast or kill you. And you're gonna take it because everything you need is in that mark. If you wanna eat, if you wanna buy, if you wanna work, if you wanna live, you need that mark. Hey, and the Bible tells don't you don't take the mark of the beast. Huh? These niggas don't even know about the King Alfred plan. Which was which was which was set up by the by the white man for, for you jakes that wanna uh uh, uh, so-called uh, up, uh, uprise against this devil, man. You know, he 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 wants to he wants to basically place all you niggas in in them concentration camps if you want to get out of line. Yeah. That's the reason why he keeps you under surveillance with with, with, with these uh, with these militarized police. Yeah. They, they want to keep you under wraps. They want to they want to send all types of. Uh, Authority all throughout the hood, shut you down, give you curfews. You know, it's all, it's all set up, it's all planned out, man. They design these projects in these neighborhoods to shut your shit down at a moment's notice. No way in, no way out. Yep. No one way in, no way out. They let you in just to keep you trapped up. Just like the fucking jail system. That's the same thinking as the jail system. Once you go in, you trapped in there. Your mentality now has to change where you're only comfortable being in prison. The same thing with you guys that are in the spiritual, mental prison. You never want to get out. You want basically they're in the spirit of America. Yep. Because America is one big pit. Yep. And if you want to be an American so bad, you 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 rather stay in the pit. You want to be trapped in that cage, man. You want to you want to remain property for the international bankers, man. That's right. That's exactly what you want to be. You have pleasure in that shit, man. Let's use a catchphrase. Those international bankers are the Illuminati. Let's use a catchphrase. The international bankers and that banking family and, and who runs America is the Illuminati. Let's not let's not mix words about it. That's the catchphrase you people need to hear. Yes, they are high up level masons. That's who they are. Let's put it out there. For y'all thinking I just came into some knowledge. I know some. You don't know shit. You don't know they plan. Even though they plan is on the internet, their plan is on the internet telling you what they're gonna do to you. But you never look up those type of things. You're too busy looking up the vine and, and, and booty shaking and fucking dumbass twerk videos and whatever else. It says, as a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Yep. Therefore, they are become great and waxing rich. They are waxing fat. They shine, yet yeah, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They overpass the deeds of the God-appointed wicked. When, when, the, when the, righteous, the righteous people have wicked men, they overpass the deeds of the, of, the, of the wicked seed that was planted on the earth, which is a so-called white man. They overdo his deeds. They perpetuate and take it to a new level. They perfect his deeds. And that's why we're in such a damn ghetto-ass uh, nigga mentality now. Because we took what, what they taught us and then we perpetuated it to where nobody, we, we gonna police ourselves to where nobody can get out. Nigga, what you trying to do? Come up, I'm gonna rob you so you can't come up out of here. That, that's the mentality that we have. We don't wanna see nobody else succeed because their success determines our failure. That's how. That's the mentality right there. That's that mentality. Their hey, that's success, even in Israel. That's, 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 that's yeah. even in Israel. I'm talking about like in yeah, the yeah, circumcision yeah, 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 right, among right. these other camps, man, because they seeing the fruit that the Most High is blessing Great Millstone with. Cause it's, it's that same nigga it's, mentality. It's the same nigga mentality on them, on them clowns, the IUIC. You know what I'm saying? And all them other groups. You know, they don't want to see us prosperous.